Dressing upper and lower body with arthritis. Most people put their clothes on without a second thought, but sore hands, stiff joints, limited range of motion, and overwhelming fatigue can make dressing a real challenge. Many people with arthritis must face this challenge every morning. If you have arthritis, you may sometimes feel that you want to stay in bed, give in to fatigue, and just skip all the effort. Yet getting dressed and groomed in the morning can have a positive influence on how you feel about yourself. If dressing is a problem for you, some of these tips and tools may help to make it a little easier. Helpful hints before you begin dressing. Know your body and don't push its limits. Make tasks as simple as possible. Rest when needed. Keep clothing in easy to open drawers. Use handles that are easy to pull. Place your clothing in easy to reach areas. Put clothing out the night before. Pre-tie your neckties and leave them tied for the next time. Dress your lower body first. It takes the most energy. Wear loose clothing that stretches. Wear clothing that fastens in the front or on the side instead of the back. Use large buttons or replace with Velcro or zippers with a pull tab. Dress the most painful side first. While dressing, remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. We will now demonstrate how to put on underwear and pants. Underwear and pants are put on the same way, so we will just be demonstrating pants. Sit down, cross your legs by bringing one ankle onto opposite knee. Or if that is too hard, cross legs at the knees. Place clothing over cross leg and pull over your foot. Uncross leg and let clothing fall to the floor. Put your other leg in the leg hole while on the floor and use a reacher or dressing stick to help pull up to your knees. If that is too hard for you to sit with your legs crossed, place clothing flat on lap. Use reacher to hold the front waistband. Use the reacher to lower clothing to the floor and put one leg through a leg hole. Move the reacher to the other side, stretch out, and put leg into the leg hole. Use the reacher or dressing stick to pull above the knees. We will now demonstrate how to put on your socks. If you can cross your legs, cross ankle over opposite knee. Take the sock and slide over your foot. If it is hard to bend down or sit with a cross leg, you can use a sock aid. To use your sock aid, slide your sock over the end of the sock aid. Make sure the toes of the sock do not hang off. Hold on to handles and lower the sock aid to the floor. Put foot into sock and pull up on handles to get sock onto your foot. When the sock is on, keep pulling the sock aid until it becomes loose. Do the same for your other foot. We will now demonstrate how to put on shoes. Having elastic shoelaces will make putting your shoes on much easier and you can get them in any color to match the laces you may already have in your shoes. You can find these at your local retail store. Velcro or slip-on shoes may also be an easy option for shoes because they will not need to be tied. If you are able to cross your legs as you did for your socks, you should use that method for putting on your shoes. If it is hard to cross your legs, take the shoehorn and place it in the heel of your shoe. Slide foot into shoe, adjust shoe with a reacher or dressing stick, and repeat with other leg. Once your shoes are on and fastened, stand to pull up your pants and underwear. If you use a walker or cane, use this when standing. If you require help to stand, this is when your helper should step in. If zipping or buttoning your pants is hard, a button hook or zipper pull could be helpful. We will now demonstrate how to put on a shirt and bra. It is best to stay seated when putting on your shirt and bra to save energy. The best bra to use is one that hooks in the front. This decreases energy use and the amount of pressure you put on your joints. A front closure bra will be put on the same way as demonstrated for bras that hook in the back. Turn the bra backwards so the clasps are in the front of your chest. Fasten the clasps. Send the bra around you so the clasps are in back. Insert one arm into the strap, pull up to shoulder. Insert the other arm into strap and pull up to shoulder and adjust if needed. To put on a pullover shirt, place shirt on your lap. The front of your shirt should be facing the floor and the neck should be towards your knees. 
Put the most painful arm in first and raise shirt to above the elbow. Put in the other arm and raise shirt to above the elbow. Gather the shirt with both hands and pull overhead or use dressing stick to push the shirt overhead. Pull the shirt down in back and front. If that is too difficult, you can use a button-up shirt. Put the most painful arm in first. Bring the shirt around your back. Put in your other arm. Adjust shirt accordingly. You may want to use a button hook or zipper pull to fasten the shirt. You are now fully dressed and ready for the day. This concludes our instructional video on dressing with arthritis. We hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can consult an occupational therapist at Cardinal Hill Rehabilitation Hospital at area code 859-254-5701.